in the trenches with Ryan Roxy. Well, that that was the day of the uh, uh, the video shoot. The video shoot was the next day, and Alice. Now you know I'm I'm sitting in my hotel room. Um, I was supposed to have my guitar gun, a gun guitar show up for the video, and the customs actually didn't let it through. Believe it or not. Shocker. So I get a phone call, and they uh, it was um, Kyler. And he goes, hey, Alice would love you to sit in tonight. And I was like, whoa. You know, because that's that's a huge deal. But I didn't have uh, I didn't have a, um, a microphone, a guitar. So right. it, it turned out to be a situation where I wasn't able to. And then Nita was right. going, why don't you just ask me? I would have lent you one. And I said, well, you know, I never assume, you know, I'm supposed to take some guitar, you know, so. Well, you could always yeah, cut I, I, my. I get to meet you. So that's... you could have cut my flying V into some sort of gun shape. It kind of has a little bit of a rocket gun shape thing. You're trust me. From now well, on, I would have broken the neck. Broken the neck off. <laughs> Any time in the future that you come or you're we're in the same building, you're definitely coming up on stage for sure. And like I said, Great. we're awesome. he, we are here to talk about. Uh, the new normal, which is your last release on Frontiers Records, uh, Alice sure. Cooper was obviously in the song uh, "Beginning of the End," as well as yep, Alyssa White from end, Arch yep. Enemy, and uh, yep. and also on that album, Nita Strauss appeared on King of the World. I didn't know that. Lizzie Hale and you wrote uh, "The Lion's Share" that song. So right. I want that song itself, the video beginning of the end, how did that all come about and how did Alice Cooper end up becoming in the video? Well, I mean, you know, you know how it is. So, you know, you're in the studio and I recorded uh, a vocal that we were kind of happy about, you know what I'm saying? That's, you know, it sounds really good. But there's certain guys, you know, like, as you know, singing is, is acting as well. You've got to really feel the lyrics. You have to feel the fire. I remember Desmond Child told me to read the lyrics to songs, almost like it's a script to a movie. So, um, you know, even though I was singing the song really well, I wasn't delivering it with enough power. And I thought, you know, anybody that wants to say they, they bleat false promises until you're broken, I'll cut their evil tongue. I went, eh, that's Alice Cooper. So I called him. He was in town. He came over the same day. It was just a complete sort of a miracle. And he and Cheryl showed up. Um, we left uh, almost uh, uncontrollably for about an hour. And then he went in and record, recorded, you know, one of the best vocals, I think, that I've ever heard him do. And he upgraded the song, you know, so much. I mean, just having his presence uh, on the song really changed everything. So... You know about him as well. <laughs> so. I, well, I know that whatever song that you have that you've, you you might write naked on your couch or you're sitting in your robe like you are and you're just jamming and it becomes a riff yeah. and maybe it becomes a song. It's it The second you give it to Alice and he puts a vocal on it or changes a word here or there, then it becomes an Alice Cooper song. And it's an Alice Cooper song from there on out, right? Yeah. Yeah, and, and it's like these other planets get attached to the song as well. These, these entire, like, these cults, you know, these whole worlds that uh, he's lived through, he really is, you can hear it in his voice and how he, how he delivers different lines. He's pretty, he's pretty amazing guy, so. So you, know. you, had, you had this, uh, this record, uh, The New Normal. Uh, it comes out, you have all-star cast with uh, Alice in the video. You have uh, Alyssa from Arch Enemy in, in the video which, as well. Um, were you thinking that maybe this year you would have been touring that and then all of a sudden it, things got a little bit derailed? You mean, did I want to tour the, the album? I, yeah, I was thinking that you might perhaps be on tour sometime in 2020, but oh, wait a second, the world changed. Yeah, see, like, I'm a little bit, uh, you know, my whole feeling about uh, touring is a little, little different. So uh, I, I'm more, I, I think I'm going to be, as an artist, I would like to be a little bit more video centric, if you know what I mean. Like, I think I can reach a lot more people than I would otherwise if I was, let's say, you know, touring clubs in the U.S., you know, I, some of my friends who play with, you know, massive bands, you know, I, I, you know, I won't mention any names, but I mean, they do clubs and there's 20 people there. So I, I feel, uh, you know, when I made that uh, al album, that, that CD, I thought to myself, um, I want to, uh, 
I want to do video. So I have uh, three more videos ready to go off of the record. Um, you know, my, my relationship with Frontiers, uh, you know, completely exploded. But, but you know, the, those guys, Mario and Serafino, are, um, uh, are pretty amazing. You know, so because they're the real deal. They're guys that were in their apartment and they wanted to keep uh, hard rock and heavy metal just be viable. And they ended up uh, with their record company, you know, and they have a very hard coded uh, business model, hard coded uh, business model. But, um, but, you know, I love those guys. I, I just really admire them. But, you know, that, that the relation, I'm, I'm, I'm just I'm kind of tough to work with sometimes, especially uh, from the business side, you know, just because, uh, you know, I, I don't agree with how a lot of it's handled. So, um, uh, but wow. yeah, so, so what I've done on my own is finance you know, three more videos, uh, you know, beyond the beginning of the end. I have a director's cut coming out. I have a video about uh, domestic violence. And then finally, uh, my last video is just going to be kind of psychotic with a uh, celebrity sort of in, at the front of it. So it should be fun. Yeah. Well, here's the thing. I, I think you might be ahead of the curve of where we're at right now. It might be serendipity. I don't know. Yeah. But because of our stage that I'm used to playing on and Alice is used to playing on, you're used to playing on in front of people is sort of temporarily taken away. I think video is going to come back on the forefront and it's going to take a lot more imagination and people that are promoting their music through videos. And it seems like you've already made that because you, you know, you're a smart business guy. You've, you've done it on your own. You've, um, you know, when you mentioned club tours and big names pulling in 20 people, you can say Ryan Roxy. You can, you can say my solo name. It's okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm used to playing uh, clubs. You know, it happened. It happened to me. Yeah, yeah. I've been waiting for 